How's it going guys? Cole there, back again, dropping yet another video. Right guys, uh, this story is a story in the Bulletin News, link in the description below like you always do. Now this guy, David Bradley was known as, then he changed his name to H. Bradley, uh, now it's H. Macklin, right? This guy is a fucking scumbag, oxygen thief, right? And he should do everyone a favour and swing, right? He needs to swing from the rafters, this guy. Absolute scumbag, right? It's a waste of skin and bone. There's good people out there that have died, right? From whether it's a virus, diseases, accidents, whatever it might be, and you've got fucking waste of oxygen, like this oxygen thief, like this, right? Still alive. Now, look at the headline DJ who fantasized about killing children has jail term extended. Extended. So that means straight away, you know that the sentence has been classed by the Attorney General as unduly lenient, which means that the sentence has been too lenient that's passed down. How can it be that they throw the book at drug dealers, people that... I was in prison with a 57-year-old man who got done for tax evasion. He got nine and a half years. We seem to go... No pun intended. We seem to go soft on these paedophiles, these fucking fantasised about killing children. I'm not being funny, right? Mental health, whatever. There's no, there's no mitigation for that at all. Right, just a sicko. Right, I want to read the story, guys. Listen, link in the description below. Let me know what you think about this muppet. Right, let's have a read. So, DJ who fantasizes about killing children has jail term extended. A part-time DJ from Higher Broughton. Right, well, answer me a question. Right, why do these paedophiles? Right, before I start. Why did, because he is a paedophile, right? it comes out in a second. Right? Why do these paedophiles, right? why do they work as teachers, as nursery assistants, as, as child carers? They, they put themselves, police officers, they work with vulnerable people, they work with children. It's almost as if they think, right, I'm going to get into this job, I'm going to study and get into this job so I can abuse children. Because that's what they do, right? Uh, just. Listen to this, right. So a part-time DJ from Higher Broughton who fantasised about raping and murdering a child has had his jail term increased. H. Macklin, scumbag you can see at the start of the video, 38, was given a 20-month sentence after being caught with a stash of child porn. Let me stop you there. Let me fucking stop you there. As someone that was sexually abused, it's not child porn. Not child porn at all. It's child abuse. Child porn. Child porn. It's looking, it's not child porn. It's child abuse, right? Which even seasoned investigators considered to be among the worst they'd ever seen. Macklin or Br David Bradley, as he was originally known, then he changed it to H. Bradley and now it's H. Macklin. <clears throat> Macklin sold access to his sordid catalogue of images to fellow paedophiles via an encrypted messaging app from his new Devonshire Square home. And now following a court of appeal hearing, law lords have agreed that the prison sentence should be increased to four years. And the rest. He had pleaded guilty to three counts of making indecent images of children and two offences of showing similar materials at Manchester Crown Court in April. So they investigators from the National Crime Agency or the NCA welcomed the judge's ruling. NCA operations manager Hazel Stewart said Macklin posed a very real and dangerous threat to children. A team of officers viewed and assessed and graded the material Macklin sold access to, which they said was some of the most horrific and disturbing content they'd ever seen in many years of investigating child sexual abuse. I'm pleased this sentence has been increased, which should signal to other offenders that together with our partners, we will stop at nothing to track down and imprison those individuals who pose the biggest threat to our children. His collection included sexual torture videos, of babies and toddlers, and Macklin spoke of his desire to acquire snuff movies showing real life murders. Macklin also told another offender that he wanted to murder somebody and film it. The court hearing in April was, sh was told how in December 2018, in an online chat room using the name UK Perv, Macklin advertised access to imagery via a server for a monthly subscription of £10. Macklin, who was born David Bradley, but formerly known as H. Bradley, advertised in various chat rooms, explained he was a, explained he was a paedophile, and signed off on one advert, no morals. 
He sent users instructions about how to stream the material from the server. In an, sorry, in an international operation involving undercover officers from America and New Zealand, intelligence received by the NCA led officers to raid in Macklin's home in April 2018, where they recovered items including an iPhone, a laptop and hard drives. Nearly 2,200 indecent images of children were discovered, of which 680 were the most serious Category A images. That's the story over. I right, see this waste of space, right? Simple. Simple, right? Go, get hold of a screw, right? Because he's going to be on his protection, going to be on protection, riding the numbers, right? Because he can't handle the vulnerable, the class in the system as VPs, vulnerable prisoners. The vulnerable, because not all of the, see, the thing is, I have to, I have to, I, a lot of people know what VPs are. VPs, you might think vulnerable, you might think, well, old people, they're vulnerable, people with mental health, they're vulnerable. In prison, vulnerable inmates are classed as debt heads, former police officers, former prison officers, former gang members, people that put themselves on protection for, because they've got mental health issues, rapists, paedophiles, child murderers, etc., etc. Four things you don't want to be in prison. Grass, um, baby killer, child killer, um, rapist, or a paedophile. Four things you don't want to be in prison because you'll be murdered on site. Now, if I was in charge of the system, if I was in charge of the system, I would bring down reoffending rates, simple, because I'd have a way with the VP wings, right? When I was in strange ways, never came into contact with the, with the nonce, right? The only time you'd see them, you go on a visit, they sit, when you come out of the door, they're on the left, they have the back to the visitors when the visitors walk in, so no one can identify them. Um, and then you don't really see them apart from that, right? When I was in Forest Bank, there's that many. There's only two VP wings at Forest Bank. There's that many in the system. The uh, in the, the they've interjected them into general population, and I wouldn't have known who he was if it wasn't for the fact that I was a cleaner. And he was like, "That's a DNU. DNU. Did, for those that don't know, DNU. Do not unlock. DNO. Do not open. All right. Um, but if you're on, if you're on a um, basic basic regime, you're out for half an hour in the morning, half an hour in the evening." These lads, these nonces that are in general population run the same regime. They're protected for the most part. And then when a nonce leaves the prison, hopefully they leave in a body bag. But if but when they leave, then these nonces get fed up up to the wings, whether it's H2. I think it's I it's one of the C wings, I won't say because someone might think, oh, look at how my fella's on C1 or C2 at Forest Bank. But yeah, H2 is definitely the non swing, one of the non swings. But there is, I think, one of the Cs, it's either C1 or C2. I always get mixed up. Um, but yeah, so nonces are protected for the most part. I would, if I was in charge of the system, um, I would simply have a way with it. Nope, they can't go into segregation. They can't go on to the VP wing. VP wing, like I said, protected. When they're getting moved around the prison, they put a freeze on. When they're going to work, they put a freeze on. When they're going to visits, they put a freeze on. They've got it incredibly cushy. and well, They're still in prison, but it's no punishment for me. And the thing is, these paedophiles, and he's a nonce, tried to a streaming service for £10 a month. I'd have a way with the protection wing. And you know what, these people, they've been murders every day of the week. They've been murders in and out of prison. If you read on the... If you, imagine being, like, related to a child, and that child was murdered by the dad. Right? The dad goes to prison. Right? Rather than them waiting 20 years and suffering on 22 years, 18 years, 15-year minimum tariff, right? You'd love to just read the paper and just flick open and think, He's been in prison about five hours and he's dead. Right? That's what should happen. Right? This this uh, David Bradley, H. Bradley, H. Macklin, right? depraved, dangerous, clearly this guy will reoffend. Right? The one thing that I've said a thousand times, I'm sick of saying it, you cannot rehabilitate a sex offender. Right? This man, like I said, he had 2,200 images and moving images and all that stuff, right? distributing them and all this and trying to make money from it as well. By downloading them, by making them, by posting them online, you're creating the demand. If the supply, if the demand is not there, the supply isn't there. Whether that's drugs, whether it's child abuse images, right? Now, the, the, this guy right, will reoffend. Right? When he's in prison, let's let's go on the proviso that he can't get hold of a bad mobile phone. Right? 
um, at Forest Bank. I don't know if he's in Forest Bank. If he's, he, this was in, I think he's a Salford lad. Right? Ia Broughton's classed as Salford. Right? So he's probably in the ways, Forest Bank. He might have been shipped around through dispersals, whatever. Anyway, so let's say that he can't get a bank mobile phone, right? The longer he's in prison, right? A woman spread eagle on the bed, not going to do anything for him. Viewing women that are 18 and above on porn magazines doesn't do anything for him. He gets his kicks downloading, uploading child abuse images. That's his thing. So normal pornography that would get me and you off does nothing to this man. Does nothing to paedophiles, right? So the longer they're in prison, the body's building testosterone, that sexual urge, yeah, they can masturbate and they can get themselves off. But the real, the real test is eventually when these lot are released because then they can get down. They, 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 for me, they, do you know what makes me laugh? Right? You get these paedophiles that get caught, they get out of prison and there's no, yeah, they're on the sex offenders thingy for life and all this shit and the police can turn up on the door and check the check their uh, history and everything and they're not supposed to delete anything but they can just delete something right they might have their machines that you can plug them into blah 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 but the facts are as soon as them ties are off you say they, they, i was going to say years then they serve months these bastards right but what they do they serve time and then sexual urges build up build up build up build up build up build up right and in because for me paedophilia is uh it's a mental illness right that's when they think, right, I'm going to get me, I can't get my phone back from the police, that's been destroyed, so I buy another smartphone. And the, the thing is, why are they even allowed devices, tablets, mobile phones, laptops? Shouldn't be allowed for call. Shouldn't be allowed nothing, mate. Right? And then that's when they start, whether it's a few weeks, a few months, they go on to view these images, download them again. And like I've said, it, they can't be controlled. It's, that, it's just their thing. And if they don't, if you download these images, right, which they shouldn't fucking do, they're disgusting, depraved. Who can look at a child in that way? It's a kid, right? They actually physically, they go on to carry out these things in person, so physically, right? Whether you download them, whether it's physical, it's just depraved, it's off the scale. A how can, a child is exactly that, a child, right? And, and these, these bastards, man, I was sexually abused, guys. I did a video the other day. I don't know if you guys saw. Um, and it's l forever. I've got a life sentence in that regard. I never went to the police. I went to got him like a fish and he'd moved, right? But I was... I can't form emotional attachments with anything or anyone even now. I still can't. Just me. Just my life. Just through what I went through. I right? don't trust people. Um, didn't turn to drink or drugs, thank God. But people take, turn to drink, they turn to drugs, they get significant mental health issues. I tried to hang myself in my mother's uh, bathroom when I was about 14, 15. Um, just flashbacks, nightmares, struggling to sleep. Example, it is now 3.17 a.m. I'm still not asleep. I want to continue to do videos. Um, people have problems with mental health, forming emotional attachments. They can't own our jobs, they can't own our relationships. They, they turn to drink or drugs. Um, they might start smoking cannabis as a coping mechanism. They might start self-harming. Some people want to swap the emotional pain for physical pain. Some people attempt suicide. Uh, and sadly and tragically, a lot of people um, take suicide as a way out and God bless them all. Um, and these people don't give a shit about any of that. It's all about their own sexual gratification. This man, if he's got anything about him, which he hasn't, would string up in prison. String up means hang himself. Get, get a razor blade. Don't, don't do a little nick for attention. Start severing tendons. Start severing arteries. Go for your carotid artery neck. Go for your femoral artery in your leg. Because, like I said, he will re-offend. Look at, look at what he's into. Wants to make a snuff movie. Wants to view them. Wants to make them. Wants to kill someone and film it. That's a killer in the mist. And it'll be a child, and it'll be it'll be a rape job. He'll rape her, and then he'll kill her, and he'll film it, and he'll upload it onto some dark web somewhere. I despise people like this. I'd love to be locked in a room with him. Absolutely. No, I'm not Johnny Concrete, but I would love to be locked in a room with him. Anyway, guys, I've raffled on long enough. When it comes to paedophiles, I say the same sort of stuff because I'm so passionate about it. 
but this guy I had to cover. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, link in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Cordial.